Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Alex from Green Tree Media again. Hey, just wanted to share with you a uh, new plugin I built for the Divi theme called Divi Icon King. Uh, not too long ago, I built another uh, plugin called uh, Divi Font Awesome, which loaded in the Font Awesome icon set uh, directly into the Divi Builder. And uh, I got a lot of great feedback from it, but there were some people who said they wanted even more icons. So I, uh, I built another one, Divi Font Icon, or I'm sorry, Divi Icon King, that. Um, pulls in not only the icons from Font Awesome, but also about 930 icons from the Material Icon set. So uh, all in all, it gives you about just under 2,000 icons if you include the ones that ship um, with Divi. So uh, we'll take a look at this here real quick and kind of give you an overview of how it works. Um, setup is super easy. Once you install the plugin, you really only have two options, and it's you know which fonts that or which icon sets that you want to enable, whether it's Font Awesome or Material. You can select just one, you can select both, you can select neither, uh, you know, whatever kind of fits the needs of your of the site that you're working on. Uh, if you don't check the box, then it won't even load um, the icon set in at all. So it's not like it's loading everything and only showing you what you're using. So in order to keep things optimized and kind of humming along, it's only going to load in whichever one that you check. Um, it loads them in through some public CDN, some reliable CDN, so it's not like the libraries are actually on your server taking up room or they're being loaded locally. So they're coming from uh, some public CDNs to hopefully keep things moving along pretty quick. Um, so I'll jump over here now and we'll show you an example. Here's uh, the the core blurb module. It's the one that ships right with Divi. This isn't a, a customized module. Um, and you'll see that we've got our icons, and I'll just scroll down a little bit here just so you can see some of the, uh, the icons. And there's just a ton of them. So, uh, But you'll notice that uh, down here there's an option now that says filter icons. Uh, even though we have all these icons, I wanted to make sure it was still easy for people to find the, the icon that they're looking for. Um, so they can keep moving along doing what they have to do. So I've got a couple built-in uh, filters here at the bottom so you can look at just specific icon sets. So if you click on Elegant Themes, it will only show you the Elegant Themes icons that come with Divi. Uh, font Awesome, you know, here's the Font Awesome icons, Material icons. Uh, so you can quickly jump back and forth between the sets if you know that you're working or, or you're looking for an icon in one or the other. Um, or you can look for just outlined icons uh, or solid style icons, or of course back to all. Um, or if you're looking for something even more specific, I, I built in the, this uh, search bar here. So if you're looking for arrows, you know, you could just type it in and it will show you icons with arrows, um, or like the user icons, or uh, what was that uh, rocket ship in uh, Font Awesome? There it is, yep. So the rocket ship in Font Awesome. Um, so you can get kind of creative and type different things, calendar, and it will show you the calendar ones. So uh, hopefully this makes things easy for people. Um, and again, there is no custom modules in this. It's some code that integrates directly with Divi, so it will work um, on any of the modules that ask for an icon. So if I come down here and I go to uh, like a contact form, and I'll come over to the design tab here. Use custom styles for button, and you'll see our button icons. We've got all these to choose from. Um, same with the galleries. Uh, again, just just any um, any module that asks for an icon, you'll you'll have an option to choose from one of these. Uh, you know, almost two thousand icons. Uh, and again, I wouldn't be surprised if it worked with uh, you know most third-party plugins as well. Uh, just again the way that it works it, if they're asking for an icon they should be able to load up one of these icons as well so uh, I hope you guys find some value in it if you have any questions or, or any suggestions I'd love to hear from you um, you know shoot me a message uh, but yeah uh, happy happy developing or happy designing guys